Hey YouTube, it's the Eric Volpe, and it's time to get the interest in our Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi Bell. My opponent for this one is Sucker for Jessica, a really cool guy. And yeah, I have a test team. He was bringing a team that we're both working on, so let's just get to it. I was with Shindor, he was with Salamence. I really don't know what he wants to do, but I know for a fact that he's not going to fire blast turn one. So I'm going to restrain the Natore, and I'm going to take a Draco Meteor. Now, knowing from past experience and what this Notori can take with special attacks, unless that thing specs, I should be able to live a fire blast, which means I want to get my rocks up now to at least force his spinners in, because I noticed on the scene preview, he had two pokes that could rapid spin. However, he stays in with his mens and Draco Meteor's again. This does lead me to believe that in some way he is choice. Now, however, I also noticed on the scene nothing on his team really had ground resist, I mean electric resist. So I went for a T-Wave first to cripple anything that might want to come in. Maybe it's Volcarona because he wants to get that early game sweep. So he goes into him on top and I'm like, okay, well I'm going to get my rocks. And he goes, oh yeah, he switched, sorry. So that's going on. I switch out into Chandelier expecting either the rapid spin or the close combat. But he predicts my ass and hits me with the Stone Edge. And that does a chunk. But luckily I'm like, okay, well, he has a close... Sucker Punch. I just got Sucker Punched by Sucker for Jessica. Irony! So I lose my Shandor, which really sucks, but I'm going to go out into Rapushin, knowing that he's not going to want to take anything I got, but I overpredict. What am I doing? And it, that just screws me over big time, because this is a choice banded Rapushin. And that, that Drain Punch would have taken up that hit on top, and that would have been one less threat to deal with. But I was predicting. So now he goes on to Tentacruel, and I believe at this point I double. We have a double switch on our hands, and I double switch in the Latios. And I'm like, well, Psychic to your face. I know Psychic would do a good amount of damage, and he goes on to Ments. And, that, and I'm like, what you doing, Ments? Alright, I gotta stop saying what you doing. That's his line, not mine. So the Intimidate comes in, doesn't really matter because Life Orb Psychic will be enough to take this Ments out. And that's really good because, well, still, if he brings that Mensa at the right time, he can do a lot of damage to me. He br goes into Metagross, and I'm like, well, I get the HP Fire. So I'm going to hit hit your ass with a nice HP Fire. And I was fearing the Ice Punch at this point, but I'm like, no, he's going to over predict me a switch. And he's probably going to set the Light Screen. And that works perfect because his Metagross did not take as much as he'd like from that HP Fire. Not enough where he can take another. So, I'm going to play safe here because over predicting the last turn kind of put me in a bad spot. I'm going to go for the Hidden Power Fire. And it's going to do nothing to that Tentacruel. That's resisted Light Screen. However, I am going to stay in and just go for the Psychic. Knowing that he doesn't have anything that can really do enough damage to kill me. Because Tentacruel is not that, generally that strong and he obviously has some bulk. But he does have the Ice Beam, which is fine. I can take an Ice Beam. I can take a... Oh, yeah, I got Frozen. And, which which would be fine if I thought this turn, but I don't. And then he rapid spins. And this tentacle plays a crucial part in this game, too. And then I'm like, okay, well, I can, I say throw frozen, and he gets a rapid spin kill on me. How fair is that? So now I'm in a bad position, and I'm like, alright, I gotta get some sort of sweep on, I gotta get a couple of these pokes dead. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to go for a small mini sweep here on a poke or two. Go into Lucario. And set up the swords dance, which is good. However, I do see he's faster than me, which does make me think he has some definite speed investments. So he switches on my extreme speed in Jirachi. Now I know Kario, unless that thing is scarfed in a way, outspeeds Jirachi. However, I do get to see the leftovers right here, which is very important that I know he doesn't outspeed me because he's a bulky variant. So I'm going to go for the close combat. He goes in the hit on top. Even after the Intimidate, it's still at plus one. So that's going to do a lot of damage. And that's going to take the hit on top right out. Which is really good. So now I'm going to take some more special... I'm going to take some more special defense drops and some damage and all that. His light screen wears off and he goes on Tentacruel. And so now I'm like, okay, well... Now I can E-Speed. I mean, now I can E-Speed. And he goes on Magros again, and I'm like, what am I doing? I get Magros take some damage, and I can easily close combat him again. And he outplays me so hard in this game, now I think about it. He, ju he jukes me a lot. I expect him to do the same thing, and he never does it. 
and that really sucks. So I have 13 HP, and I'm like, okay, well, he's gonna switch on Jirachi. Fuck. Like, really? I just can't get a break, and I don't think he had self rocks up, so I could have saved Lucario. I don't know, that might have been some. No, why not? And I go on the Rapusha, and I'm like, okay, you're not gonna like taking this. I'm gonna hit him in the face with a drain punch. I shouldn't even have drain punch on this thing, it's supposed to be hammer arm. And you know what sucks about this? He has liquid ooze! So I'm gonna take damage! That's not good! So now I'm taking damage that I shouldn't have even taken. And this really sucks. He goes in Jirachi and I'm locked in a drain punch. So I know he'll outspeed. So I go into Natori and he goes for the psychic, not trying to predict. So however I th now I think about it, I should have gone into that, but whatever. So I go into the wrong Pokemon. So now I speed this up 400%. Cause you know what this stuff is? Me power whipping, him subbing, him calm minding, him attacking, him subbing, him calm minding, him, him attacking, the sub breaking, and in all this I miss one power whip. So I ain't any crits, but I get one, but yeah. So I sped this up 400%, which is the most I've ever sped a battle up. And my my Camtasia can't even keep up with it. Like it's lagging a lot. But that's pretty much all this is. Is Jirachi wants to get to that plus six mark, but he really doesn't have even then. Like it's it's barely a two hit KO. I don't think it is. Power Whip is a two hit KO on the sub, which is good. But right now I'm thinking, why don't I have Boltorbs on this thing? So that happens, and that really sucks. Now a mistake I made on my. Now, a mistake I definitely made here is, why didn't I just switch into Gastrodon? Like, you know, Gastrodon can deal with this. Why didn't I do anything there? Oh, and he jukes me here. He hits me, he doesn't sub up, so I try to leak seed, and then he subs up. And I'm like, oh, you're a bitch. Stop juking me. So, this part is really boring. It's almost over, so I'm sorry. This is just the extreme stall where there's like 20 turns, give or take. So, that sucks a lot, doesn't it? So I spent that 400% and we get to the point where finally I believe he kills my Notori off with this last Psychic right here. No, I live with 4 and I do, and I try to break his sub, I think. Do I? Do I break the sub? It's, it's slowed down here so it's kind of like, alright, cool. So he has his sub and which I'm like, oh god, I'm in such a bad spot here. I'm in such a bad spot. He still has Volcarona, so it's all that stuff. And oh god, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Gastrodon, you have to be able to take a psychic from me here, bud. So, he psychics Gastro, and I take that nicely, actually. I take that with 162 by Gas, but Death Drop. And I'm like, no, Gastro! And I Earth Power, and after the Power Whip damage on it, the Earth Power will break. And now, here's where I got so happy. Because right now it's 2 2, my Gastro and, and his Jirachi are about the same mile house, and I have Colin Kelder, and he has Volcarona waiting in the wings. And he goes for a sub, and I'm like, oh my god, I need a crit, I need a crit, I need a crit, I need a crit to break the sub, I need a crit to break the sub, I need a crit to break the sub, I need a crit, I need a crit, I need a crit, I need a crit, and I get the crit! And I break the sub, and we're in a call together when this happened, and we're both laughing our asses off. He throws my Latios, and I get a crit, where it matters so much, oh, spoilers, he had the sub. So, he actually has enough to sub by four, and that will give him the game. My Earth Power does not crit again. If it crit again, I would have been, I would, he would have been Crimsonist. I get crit three times in a row. I am a Crimsonist. <laughs> so sadly, though, he did get a special defense drop, which does matter because I would have been able to take, I might have been able to take an Psychic, depending on Midmax and broke his sub. So this Bedef drop kind of makes up for the crit, I guess. Uh, so I just go in the um, Repulsion and I mock Punch. He is gonna get the kill. Sadly. I think I think Mach Punch would have killed a uh, half health bulk around considering this is choice band adamant guts boost of repulsion. However, that doesn't happen. Jirachi gets the kill. That was a good game soccer for Jessica. You definitely outplayed me at some certain points. It really didn't matter, just in like how vital my folks were. That Hitmontop threw me off and lost me my Chandelure, which mattered so much. That thing had answered all, your whole team after I took out um after getting men's paralyzed and tentacle dead. But sadly I misused it. Hit on top with sucker punch. I didn't know. I guess I should have known since I think Hitmon Lee learns it. But anyway, so that's the game. It was a great game. By the way, there is no round four, I believe, at Elo's tournament. 
me and the opponent, we were both on separate timelines. It was terrible. I was getting home at 8, which was like 2 a.m. for him. So I just conceded. And I think that was the honorable thing to do. He, uh, he was messaging me all the time when he got on, so obviously he wanted it a lot. So I gave him the win. Alright. So sadly, I only, made, I only won three rounds. I enjoyed the tournament. I thought it was a good concept. And I love the team I was using. But shit happens. Alright. So catch you guys next time. Until then, peace.